And again, Mark, I, the more I listen to you, the more I'm thinking to myself, maybe it's, you just don't understand the other side. You know, anybody who's right. in business, and, and, and just hear me out. It doesn't matter what business you're in. If the products that you're putting out are not selling, you have to, at some point, make business decisions. And what I mean by that is you named a ton of artists that never came out. At that mm -hmm. time, the locks were leaving the label. Mace had retired. Yep. Biggie passed away. Black Rob just dropped his album. Faith was in between albums. There was no revenue that was coming in to the label. So one of the Definitely. biggest artists on the label, who's Puff, I'm sure whether it was for selfish reasons or whether it was for a business reason, saying to himself, yo, I sold 7 million records on my first album. Even if my second album does bad, maybe I'll crack three and a half million and that can save the label. You don't think it is a business decision or just intelligent to bank on, right. to hear me out, to bank on the product, whatever the product might be. In this case, it was him to bank on the product that is going to bring the revenue into the company so that I can put out all the other artists, so that I don't lose my distribution deal, so that I can continue building the next generation of artists. That that just sounds like right. business. It's not personal. No, or or it can it can sound like business, but then I can tell you this much: if you ever go into a business deal with a a a a a, a, a person who's awesome, not only they are the uh, boss, they are artists too. And they have to put their attention into themselves sometimes before they put it into you. I would never want to sign to another deal like that ever again. Because, you know, if you look at it, the first song that we did off is Bad Boy for Life. What was the next single off that album? I don't remember. Did I don't remember, honestly. I don't remember. But, but here's the deal, Mark. It was oh, oh, was the D.I. The, 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 yeah, the Diddy, Diddy. Diddy, Diddy, that yeah, was Diddy. Okay, that was the you, next. You, you're bringing that up to say what though? What I'm saying is, um, that just shows also to me that the album was really based on Puff. It was this. It was Puff. But it was it was his to album. A label. It was a compilation. It was his but it label. was his album. Just by me doing vocals for him and writing songs for him, I tell you what, I'm gonna be honest with you. Puff sucks as a rapper. There it is. He sucks as a rapper. I never liked when I went into the studio and I wrote songs for him. I can tell the way he say the vocals after I wrote it for him. My references that I wrote on Godzilla Come With Me sound way better than when he... Matter of fact, I didn't even like the song after he recorded it, right? Because he didn't say it the way he didn't deliver it the way I delivered. He didn't say the words the way I say the words. I'm the one who wrote the words. So no matter what kind of businessman he is, I'm a businessman too. And I'm the I'm in the business to write the music. So that means like we both gonna have to respect each other at some point in time. I didn't like him as an artist. So if he's putting all of the energy into him, I could see if he's putting it into himself if he think he's dope or he think the people want him. But you you know, and, and if you ask me, he was making himself the artist. He was making the people like him as an artist. You know, you know, Puff, if you ask me, always wanted to be the one that had this in the spotlight. It's just my opinion. I, I, think I don't he think, always wanted to I don't put think himself. anybody I don't think anybody would disagree with you there. I don't. I don't think right. anybody right. as a fan, anybody who was behind the scenes could disagree with you. But right. again, again, just like you just stated your opinion and you said you think he sucks as an artist, he essentially mm -hmm. told you that to your face by saying mm -hmm. I was thinking about dropping you. So why, well, okay, hear, hear me mistake. out. Why, why is it mm -hmm. why is it okay for you to feel that way, but it's not okay for him as a businessman who is in the business of making right. music and music 
and artistry is very subjective. Why is it not okay for him to say, I think you suck. And even though I invested time, money, and energy into you, I'm thinking mm -hmm. about dropping mm -hmm. you from my label. And there was one other right. thing that, I, that I, go, go ahead, because there's another place I want to go. Right. Um, Prez, I broke up with a girl before. I told her I just didn't want to be with her no more. You understand? It's the same kind of thing, man. You understand? But, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's for, for him to tell me again that he was going to drop me from the label because he didn't believe in me. And, but you believe in me enough for me to write them songs for you and make you them hits. So it's okay. You know what I mean? Sometimes we not in the position to judge people. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes my, like till this day, I say, even if he say that, let's, to this day, I still got good music. I never stop. Let the good music speak for itself. Right. I told you I was, I was before my time. The music that I was writing, the subject, everything that I was on was before my time. They didn't even know how to handle it. Right. So I realized I was before my time. So it's not like, and then if we say we not, I, right, I go song for song with him right now to this day. I will do a night of verses or whatever you want to do. There's no way in the world he could ever see me on doing anything music wise. You know, okay. and it can it could be an opinion, but we could also turn that into a battle. Cause I can I can I can tell it to you, it's a fact. I got new songs right now. You hear Secrets, the new song I did? I heard it. I, you hear, I did a new I Am. I got a few other joints coming in, you know, and that's me. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.